So I painted this monochrome watercolor over the weekend and when I finished it I decided that it wasn't it didn't work as an 11 by 15 painting there were just areas of the painting I didn't like they looked rather blah and that's this area here so I cut it up and put it in a smaller mat which worked much better and then I thought to myself well that would be a good thing to show in my YouTube demonstration how you can salvage a watercolor by cropping it down and making it look more interesting so I really wasn't wild about this area here at all and I took a smaller a mat with a smaller opening and held it in place and as you can see I, th I think it's made makes for a much better and more interesting painting than this large dark area here which I really didn't like and um, I just think I, ha I have posted this on my website and on my Facebook page and have got some very nice comments and, and also from the World Watercolor Group that I belong to and I think I did the right thing. So don't despair when you do a painting and for some reason it didn't work. You can take different size mats and just um, try out different cuts of the painting and you might be able to come up with something that will give you a, a more interesting painting. Um, I'll just show you, I'm going to get a smaller mat still and show you what I do sometimes when a painting really hasn't worked out. If I didn't like this painting at all, I would even take something a little smaller. These are my grubby mats that I use for um, cropping my paintings or seeing what size works. I could even, I could do that and make a card with it or a, a, a small five by seven painting. That looks quite nice too. Um, that's okay, but I think that looks better. And I, I do this a lot with my paintings uh, that don't work out. We all have paintings that don't work out. Um, I don't like this painting too much. And I think what I'm going to do is crop it down and make a little five by seven. And that's quite nice. Here's a painting that I was just, in fact, it's a doodle that I was playing with, but I could See, I could actually get something out of this. I could either get a card and you can just hold it in various parts of your painting. This looks like cowslip flower or it could be um, St. Anne's lace, more like a cowslip flower there. And that makes quite a nice five by seven painting or a card for someone. I have a bunch of these that I have cropped over the years and you can just see what you can get uh, playing around. I use these. These ones I, I will be using as cards um, and this was from a demonstration I was doing for my online class on how to paint thistles loosely. So I was able to get from one of the paintings that I didn't like I was able to get three little cards and I'm just sort of showing you what you can do and they won't always be a waste there's always there's always some part of the painting that you can save so don't get despondent when you have failures look for the good in the bad <laughs> that's my advice Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.